Hi guys, since Darzian couldn't do the video, I am taking care of the video for this week. I will try and make it as short as possible. Okay, the first word is apposite. It means to be highly relevant or apt, as in it's appropriate to the topic that's being talked about, or to the job, or to the environment. Calumny is a false accusation meant to hurt someone's reputation or slander. This is like when you start rumors about someone that is um, that are lies, and you're causing calumny in their life. Domain has two definitions, an area or ter territory over which control is exercised, or it's a field of activity, knowledge, or concern. With the first one is like, my domain is room 406. My domain is my house, it's where I live. Um, also, you have the idea of like somewhere that you rule. So um, Queen Elizabeth II's domain is England. Um, with the field or activity, knowledge, or concern, my domain of study is English. Okay, dorsal is of, on, or near the back. Think of like dolphins and porpoise um, and sharks with the idea of a dorsal fin. It's the fin on the top of their back. With shark, it's the one that, that comes out of the water that you see coming toward you if the shark is coming toward you. The next one is enervate, is to lessen the rigor or strengthen of, the strength of or to enfeeble. So this this would be me if I made the test easier. So if I enervated the test, then I would lessen the strength of, I would make it easier for you. Epicure is one with discriminating taste, especially but not exclusively relating to food and drink. Epicure is normally related to food and drink, the idea of someone having a James Beard Award, someone eating at five-star restaurants, but it's the upper echelon of things. It's that the people that like the, the high class aspects of things. The next word is exculpate, to clear from alleged guilt or fault. So this is the idea of like when the judge ends the trial and the person is found not guilty, they exculpate the records as in they free them or clear them of guilt or fault. So they are let go and they are found um, not guilty heterogeneous it's differing in kinds of parts or varied homogeneous is the opposite of this homogeneous means to like bring together like we do with milk um, and different dairy products but heterogeneous is that that different is in the different kinds of parts so if this something is heterogeneous it varies in size and color and difference infinitesimal it's extremely small in size or quantity. So an, an ant is infinitesimal, a bee, an insect, those are infinitesimal, so they're extremely small. Or if I say I want an infinitesimal bite or morsel, it's that I want that small amount. Lateral is of or at or from or toward the side. So it's the idea that you're moving side to side. So if I ask you to move to the side, as in take a step to the left or take a step to the right, you're making a lateral movement. You can also have the same thing with like a position in a job where you are laterally moving within a position, as in you're not moving up, your just position is moving to another department of equal value. So you're just making a lateral movement. The next word is primeval of or relating to the earliest ages or primitive. So we're talking cavemen, dinosaurs, it's very old in essence as in the beginning of time. Quintessence is the best or most typical example. So this is, the, this is on the level of exemplar as in the idea of the best example. So a synonym for it would be exemplar. Um, quintessence fits into it being that perfect example. Serrated is having a sawtooth or notched edge. Um, if you have a serrated knife, it's meant for like cutting bread. It's meant to like saw through it because the bread is harder to cut. Saws and chainsaws have that same aspect of being able to like cut a tree um, branch or something like that, but it's that serrated. It's not a smooth edge. It has sawtooth notches in it. The next one, veritable. It's being, in fact, the thing named or described. Literally so, often used to emphasize the aptness of a metaphor. So veritable is the literal definition or the literal example. So the second part of the definition is when it says often used to emphasize the aptness of a metaphor is it's the metaphor would be the figurative aspect 
but the veritable aspect is the literal aspect of the metaphor. Viviparous is um, producing living young instead of eggs in the manner of most mammals and some reptiles. So this is the idea like humans are viviparous. So we give live birth. We, our animals, are, I mean, our babies don't come from eggs, but like a turtle is not viviparous. It lays eggs. A um, dolphin, a porpoise, a whale, like the cetaceous animals that um, you had on your test today, those all give live birth. So they are all viviparous as well as cetaceous. Okay, have a good night and see you tomorrow.